Yeah, fun. So, we woke up, uh, got a good, nice, like, nine hours of sleep, so that was good. Um, and now we are um, getting on a bus to go to Bosnia, where I just found out last night there are landmines that are still active in the forest. So I don't think we're going to the forest. If we are, I love everyone. Um, goodbye, uh, sweet, sweet world. So I'm actually really excited for this bus ride because this bus has so much legroom. It's got hardwood floors. We've got curtains. We've got space. Oh my gosh. This leather feels so nice to the skin. Wow. I should really sell buses. I think I can make a lot of money. So we are here in Bosnia. Um, so far, no landmines. So that's a good start. Uh, we passed a bunch of beggars, though. I think that was like Beggar Central. Um, and a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the buildings seem to be really, really run down, but we'll see some cool stuff here, I'm sure. So we just walked through this uh, little alleyway here, and it was packed with people. Oh my gosh. We were moving at like 0 .003 miles per hour, um, and now we're actually going on this old bridge. Can't really see it from here, but it's cool. So this is the bridge that we're on right now. And then this is the view from the bridge. Man, this is beautiful. So I'm pretty sure that is the leader of the mosque calling uh, a service or calling a prayer time. Got some kebab meat uh, off the kebab, some uh, potatoes and some kind of thing, and some pita bread. I cannot wait to devour this. That food was amazing. Oh my god, I'm I'm thinking I might stay here just because that food was so good. And the beer, the beer tasted like heaven. It was amazing. So we are at this mosque right here. It's really beautiful. And they have a little uh, fountain, so sort of washing and uh, drinking. So yeah, take a drink of this water. So this is the view from far away of the bridge. Man, that is beautiful. I think the guy up there is about to jump. That's a duck and all its little babies. They're so cute. I'm trying to get through this waterfall area. So we have been sitting waiting for about a half an hour for the other guy to jump. So he left. Never jump, jumped, and now we've got these two guys up there who's sitting here. They've been sitting for about 10 minutes. Um, so I'm really thinking this is just like some kind of cruel scam or something. So I'd say Bosnia was a success. It was only a four hour trip, but we did a lot in that four hours. We walked around, we uh, stuck our feet in the river, we went on the bridge, we got the most amazing food ever. And um, yeah, we came back and uh, just told stories on the way back. I bet you that every single person that wasn't a part of our group on that bus hates us now. But you know, who cares? We won't see them again. And they were funny stories, so some of them were actually laughing too. So uh, Maggie lost her phone two days ago, and uh, we, and by we I mean Corbin, Maggie, hey. and I are trying to find the house at which her phone is at. But, none of these numbers make any sense. So we had to call the person and she said that she's gonna get her son to call us because he can actually speak English and tell us how to get to their house. But they have not uh, called us back yet in like 10 minutes. Nice. But we met this little beautiful cat right here. Cheese, Cheese Puff. Puff. Come here, buddy. Yeah, we named him Cheese Puff. You or her. We don't know if it's a girl. I didn't pick her up. Nobody's she's touching her. But touching her. She's she is, uh, she's just, you know, nestling she's on our legs and feet. And it's really nice. And we're getting kind of emotionally attached. I might take her home. You think customs will let her through? So we finally found the phone. We found the uh, mother and son who had it. And um, we sat down at a cafe and talked to them. Uh, the mother didn't really speak that great English, but um, we could make some stuff out of what she was saying. Um, yeah, and now we are headed back to the hostel to meet up with a bunch of other people, and then we're going to get some uh, food. There's a guy outside of this, uh, 
this hotel, I guess, that's uh, playing some blues. It's making me feel uh, kind of nostalgic about America. I love this. So we just ate at a uh, kind of fancy restaurant. We, went, we ate outside. It was really nice in this uh, little courtyard. And uh, now we're headed back to the hostel, and we're going to play uh, some fishbowl. Woohoo! Uh, so we're in this <laughs> wonderful <laughs> acoustic environment, and uh, we're just saying wanting memories and Java Jive, and uh, we had like a whole group of people watch us, and uh, it was really fun. Yeah, they begged us for more after uh, wanting memories. Uh, there was actually a woman who was listening to us who said, "Oh wait, no, please don't stop. There's another room that you could sing in that has better acoustics." So we went over there and then uh, sang. Uh, another two songs and then uh, we left and came back to the hostel and we just hung out in the living room and now I'm in the bathroom uh, talking to you guys so I'm gonna go to bed because it's stinky in here so good night oh and make sure you like a video or subscribe to my channel if you'd like but only if you mean it